It is now time for us to honor our God with our testimonies. We will start with the online testimonies first and then proceed to the live testifiers. Brother Stanley Omenihu from Nigeria. He got married in July 2023 and from the night of the wedding, his wife suffered constant headaches and was unable to sleep. She had several medical tests and nothing was diagnosed. He wrote a letter to Daddy Gio requesting for prayers and he got a response that he will soon share his testimony. To the glory of God, in November 2023, the headache left and she sleeps soundly now. Praise the Lord. Brother Tayo Ade from United States of America. He connected to the March 2024 Special Oligo Service. During the service, our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, gave a word of wisdom that someone will say at last. He keyed into the word. To the glory of God, he passed the healthcare professional license exam he had written several times. Somebody shout hallelujah. Sister Candy Adegunle from United Kingdom. She failed a driving test in the UK in December 2023. During the March 2024 Holy Ghost service, that the Geo prayed that the Lord would carry us on eagle wings. She keyed into it and went for another driving test. God answered that prayer. She passed the test, she passed the test at a center that had 87% failure rating. Someone praise Jesus. Sister Glory from Nigeria is thanking God for divine healing. She had been having unexplainable weakness and tiredness. During the February 2024 Holy Ghost service, our daddy in the Lord prophesied that, were, that there was someone who got tired at every moment, that God had taken care of you. God did it. She no longer felt unnecessarily tired and was able to join the RCCG fasting and prayers. Hallelujah. Pastor Babajide C.A. Matani. A triumphant elder in the redeemed Christian Church of God. He is grateful to God for keeping him to see his 80th year in the land of the living. God answered the prayers of our parents in the Lord, Daddy and Mommy Gio, over him and his family. The Lord turned every captivity and fought all his battles. Praise the Lord. Sister Mercy Alimi from Rwanda. She had been in so much debt and did not know how to come out of it. At the March 2024 20, Holy Ghost night, that the Geo said a word of knowledge, that plan to give you shame, God will turn it to a mega testimony. God showed her mercy and changed her story. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Dickiness Juliana Estico from Seychelles. She attended the 2016 annual convention and listened to several testimonies connected to a CD sold on the campgrounds. She bought the CD titled Healing Streams. She constantly listened to the declarations that a Jew was making on the CD and keyed into it. On a car trip in Abu Dhabi, the car she was in was involved in a ghastly accident. On seeing death, she shouted, Jesus, God spared her life and saved her on a highway where men said nobody survives an accident on this highway. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Now we proceed to the live testifiers. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And I want to thank God for all he's doing in my family. On Sunday, I was eating at home and I found a, I noticed a sharp pain on my throat. And uh, since then, I was uncomfortable. I can't, do, I can't even swallow anything. I can't continue to eat that food again. I, I, have, to stand, I have to stand up from, from there. And since then, I've been, I've been feeling pain from my throat. So I went to the hospital 
And after the registry, they said there is a, a, foreign, a, a foreign body notice on the throat. And the doctor, they asked me to refer me to another hospital to go and see a specialist. And since then, I, I've been facing issue challenges. So on Thursday, yesterday, I decided on my, in my heart that I have to come to the Holy, Holy Communion service to come and meet uh, Dr. Jesus, who is a specialist, the a, original ENT, who can, or you can solve the problem without looking at, at any history. So I came here, and immediately, Daddy told us that after we took bread, we should pray that anything in our life that is not of God, that the fire of God to consume them. And immediately I shouted, and I took the bread, and I ate the bread, and I shouted whatever in my body that is not of God. Let the fire of God consume them, and immediately the pain disappeared, and, I, and the bone was melted. I couldn't find any pain again. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to thank God for, my, for the salvation of my soul and that of my family. I am in Kiruka, Teodo. 2023, I came believing God for the fruit of the womb. And that day I came, Daddy gave a word. Daddy said the failure you had the previous year will not repeat again in your life. And I keyed into that word and I went back home. And today, after 22 years, God blessed us with a son. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah! Let somebody shout, Hallelujah! My name is Appointed Time Peter Akpanama. I want to thank God for delivering me from nine years academic delay and stagnation. I got admission into school 2015 February, and I was supposed to finish graduate 20, uh, 2018 September 12. But towards my final year 400 level, a lecturer just got up and said he was looking for me. I went to meet him. He didn't attend to me. The next thing was to send a message to me that I'm going to frustrate you and God punish you and your ministry. Ah. I thought it was a, a joke. The next year, I failed. The second year, I failed. Then I went into prayers. Then I also heard about the youth convention that was going to happen here 2021, exceeding expectation. So I made up my mind I was going to come. And I made a vow to God, if he answers me and delivers me from the hand of this man, this lecturer, that I will stand here with my full regalia and I will give thanks to God after my POP. Then, during that Friday of the youth convention, Daddy announced to us that November Holy Ghost service is going to be day, appointed time. And that happens to be my name. So, November Holy Ghost service, I attended it online, and Daddy gave a word of knowledge. He said, the Lord says, there's somebody here you have been failing, you will not fail again. I, I said, Amen. I went to school 2022, I discovered that the man was incapacitated, and he was relieved of the course that he was teaching. Then, then the course was given to another person, I wrote the exams and I came out with flying colors and yesterday was my POP and I'm here to tell God thank you for all you have done for me. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout a powerful hallelujah. My name is Deacon Stephen Otula, Ondo Youth Provis 8. I'm thanking God for his goodness in my family. I married 2012. The following year, my wife gave back to a, a, a girl. He died five days after the birth. I did not give up. I continued praying. The second year, he gave back to another boy. He died two hours after the name. It is then that I now came to the Holy Ghost of May 2015 at the old arena. I pray on, on the altar that day that God, if you can put an end to this problem in my family, I will come to the altar to give glory to you. That very year, the Lord did it. 
He put an end to sit back in my family and gave me a boy called Victor Ayonide. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God. The Lord is good. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I'm Pastor Mrs. Sholaje Subande. By his grace, I'm one of the pastors in Redemption City of God. In 2018, I did a surgery. That's about five years ago. And my swollen thyroid gland was removed. And thereafter, I was placed on a drug that serves as artificial thyroxine. Not knowing that that drug is going to be for life. So the doctor eventually told me that it's going to be for life. And I'm like, how will I take a drug for life? So during the Holy Ghost Congress, December 2023, I attended the healing service. And that the GO, in the course of the ministration, I was healed. Meanwhile, if I don't take the drug for a day, I begin to feel funny. But unintentionally, after the healing service, whereby I've been healed, I forgot to take the drug unintentionally. After about four days when I remembered, oh, I just felt, ah, I've not taken this drug and I'm well. I went straight for medical checkup. Lo and behold, without a thyroid gland and without drug, my level of thyroxine is normal and perfect. Who did this? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. May his name forever be exalted in Jesus name somebody shout hallelujah my name is Doche David I'm from Ghana I'm living in this Bejuleki more than 20 something years now I thank God for salvation in my soul. I thank God. I thank God. December, before we came up in here. After we came up in here, I think I, I see say something big come for my throat. Big one like this. With shame, with fear. After February program where I come here, that is say there is somebody here. God say I will tell you. The thing where you see, you the fear, you go met. I say amen. After I say amen, I say at last I will share my testimony. Because this God is wonderful to me for my life. If nobody said this God, I would die long time ago. Somebody shout hallelujah. Just to uh, translate the testimony, he said that he was fasting towards the end of 2023 and he developed a huge growth under his chin. He came to the Holy Ghost service in February 2024 and Daddy Gio said that somebody there's something you can see that's making you afraid that god is going to melt it and therefore it, it disappeared immediately praise the name of the lord somebody shout hallelujah my name is brother tony Ezo. This is my pretty wife, Sister Florence Ezo, and my wonderful children. I've come here to return all the glory to God, who has dealt wondrously with us. By the grace of God, we are from Lagos Province 81. We got married in the year 2021, no, the year 2012. And by the grace of God, before the end of the year, the Lord blessed us with a beautiful daughter. That was before the devil stepped in. The devil showed his face, his ugly face in 2014 when my wife got, uh, got pregnant again and it resulted into a stillbirth. Thereafter, we started having several miscarriages. 
Children of God, it is not one, it is not two, it is not three. Ten miscarriages. Within a period of six years, ten miscarriages. During this period of trial, we were praying, fasting, and our pastors joined us, praying and believing that God will step in. We are referred to so many gynecologists. They subjected us to many to different medical tests, and we came out clean, telling us that my wife and I, we are good, we are good to go, we are okay. So we kept believing, and in 2021, that the siege is over, we came here, and Daddy, our general overseer, mentioned our case. He said something. He said, I have a good news for somebody here. The siege of your miscarriages is over. We claimed it. My wife rolled on the ground. We claimed it. And we went home. Four months later, my wife became sick of typhoid and malaria. We have treated this typhoid and malaria into four days, taking strong antibiotics and drugs and injections. But she had a dream the fourth day in the night. Our general overseer, our dad in the Lord, that the EA Adeboye appeared to her and told her, I quote, he said, this one will not fall. He said, you will carry your testimony and the world will see. She woke up and she told me. I told her to go for a pregnancy test, which she went. She came back, the old, it was positive. She was pregnant again. But the same fear came. She told me, but I've been taking injections for four days and strong antibiotics. Brethren, there is something peculiar or common with all these miscarriages. A giant dog will appear to her in her dream, will attack her when she wakes up that same morning, the baby she will miscarry the babies. And we believe, we believe it. And June, we came for the Holy Ghost service. 2022, June, Holy Ghost service, we came here. That the Geo repeated what he said in the dream, verbatim. He said, your, he said, your siege is over. That your, this baby will not fall. That the world will see your testimony. Brethren, to God be the glory, none of this pregnancy passed three months. But this one crossed three months. And I speak to you all, my mommies, my daddies, my brothers, my sister. I have come to present, as prophesied, that testimony. Baby Samuel, Zoe, Elo Gene, God's power. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> okay. Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Samage from Provis 49. 2020, we came to the camp. And Gio said, there is someone here that God said he should narrate a story about when he went to his son's um, school, out of, I mean, school, um, school yeah. So, um, during that period, there was a boy that he was expecting someone, but nobody came for him. So, he now sent his boy to come and call that boy, that he should come and dine with them. So, the boy came and ate with them. So, he said, I should tell that person that I'm going to show up for you. I told my husband, write this thing, is for me. Because that year, I was expecting some children to come and do holiday with us, but they did not come. And I needed them so much, I didn't see them. I bought a lot of things for them, I didn't see them. So that year, after a few months later, I saw daddy in the dream. He said, how do you want your children? I said, quadruplets, three boys and a girl. He now said, I, he now said I should kneel down. And when he's praying that I should say hallelujah, I was in my mind, hallelujah, amen. I now said, I obeyed. And he prayed for me. 
And to the glory of God, I bought their clothes, three boys and a girl, that I've been using to pray. And God Almighty has granted that request by giving us Chim Merimese, Chim Bwese, Chim Debube, and Chim Dalo. Praise the Lord! Worship the one who is able, the one who is able to save. Worship the one, the great physician, who makes the barren fruitful, even after 22 years, who turns series of failures to successes. Bless his holy name. Jesus is worthy. The God who is faithful, faithful to the end. Bless the name of the Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have worshipped. 